Hey guys, I'm going to show the FPS difference between the X11 going up to the X12. How they stack up against each other when it comes down to the single player campaign of Battlefield 1. But before I get into that, let me show you my excruciatingly slow download speed. As you can see, it took me a long time to download Battlefield 1. It's going at a rate of 1.4 megabytes per second. That's equivalent of someone throwing a floppy disk at you once per second. Anyways, enough of that, let's get into the static benchmark here. So the first we have is DirectX 11. It's going at 900p resolution for both bench benchmarks and a high settings for both as well. The only difference is there. That's just the AI pissed at me for living him. But as I say, the only difference between these two benchmarks is just the DirectX version. So this is 48 frames per second, and the DirectX 12 is... Well, it's not showing on the top left. Why? Fraps wasn't working with this uh, DirectX 12 really well here. The only way I was able to retrieve the frames per second is through uh, GeForce Experience. I was managed to get the in-game um, overlay to show that, but however, they do not record um, the FPS on the screen capture there, which is kind of odd, and NVIDIA should change that. Let's talk about the issues I come up against running DirectX 12. Uh, my game crashes, has a lot of stability issues, uh, sometimes it freezes the whole computer, and even doesn't allow me to change my screen resolution from 900p back to 1080p. Look at that, the resolution box is just grayed out. Um, Gameplay-wise, I do notice mouse input lag, which is kind of annoying. If you are a competitive player, definitely turn it off here if it affects your mouse uh, input there. So to recap here, just to compare the both of them, we got both DirectX 11 and 12 with a difference of 7 frames per second. That's not much of a change there, but DirectX 12 is supposed to give you higher frame rates by means of better optimization. At the time of recording, the GeForce Experience and NVIDIA driver is up to date. This version of Battlefield 1 is the trial version and the official release is on the 20th of October. However, come the official release, performance between NVIDIA and DirectX 12 is unlikely to change. Why do I say that? Because it's been documented that DirectX 12 tend to decrease performance on NVIDIA platform. But if you're running an ATI platform, the good news is most people have reported pretty decent FPS gain for their games. Well, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have yourself an excellent day.